Hello, it's Jay. Um, this is a impromptu introduction to On Bale's Stan Strand, a play written by W. Bay Yeats, uh, Yeats, Yeats in, uh, first printed in Seven Woods, which is what I'm reading out loud at the moment, which is why I'm now doing, find myself doing an introduction to it. I thought I was just reading out poetry. Apparently I'm reading out a play which I may or may not do voices for because I tried doing an old man there and I think I almost killed myself. The play was first performed at the grand opening of the Abbey Theatre on the uh, 27th of December, 1904. Uh, the play is based on the Irish folk hero, Colcane. And this is all Wikipedia scholarship. Uh, Cú, 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 uh, what was it? Cucullin, Cucullin, uh, sometimes known in English as Cucullin, uh, uh, is a war is a warrior hero and demigod in the Ulster cycle of Irish mythology, as well as in Scottish and Manx folklore. He is believed to be an Irish incarnation of the Irish guard Luch, L U, like Hugh, Lou, Lou. L-U-G-H, who is also his father. His mother is the mortal Decatine, sister of King Cocobar Macnessa. Oh boy. Born Santana, he gained his better known name as a child after killing Kulan's uh, fierce guard dog in self-defense and offering to take its place until a replacement could be reared. Hence, he became the Hound, uh, Ku of the Ku of Kukulin, Kukulin. He was trained in martial arts by a dude who gave him his spear. His spear, Gay Bug, it was prophesied that his great deeds would give him everlasting fame, but his life would be short. At the age of seventeen, he defends Ulster single-handedly against the armies of Queen Queen Meb of Connacht in the famous. Tan Bo Kulinage, Cattle Raid of Cooley. He is known for his terrifying battle frenzy, in which he becomes an un unrecognizable monster who knows neither friend nor foe. He fights from his chariot, driven by his loyal charioteer, and drawn by his horses, who all have names that I can't pronounce. Kukulin's wife is Emer, though he has many other lovers. With Aelf, he has a son named Conala, who Kukulin tragically kills. Cucullin himself is said to have died in battle, binding himself to a standing stone so his, he can die on his feet. He later became an icon for Irish nationalists, which would probably be why he's used as at the uh, start of the uh, Abbey Theatre, which I think with um, Yeats is the kind of a center of Irish nationalism. So yes, the, the play the play itself is apparently is based on an early Irish folk story, Aided Unfear Eif. Oh, I'm glad that I'm just doing this to myself so no one can actually hear what I've said. Uh, this apparently is a sequel to The Wooing of Emer, in which Ulad, uh, in which the Ulad hero Kukulin, while training in arms overseas, left the warrior princess Eif pregnant in this in in this uh aided Ophir Af, their son Conala, at the age of seven, comes to Ireland in search of his father, following instructions that Cucullin had left him not to identify himself. When he arrives on the Irish coast in a bronze boat with golden oars, Conala's pr prowess alarms the Ulad. The persuasive Condir Mac Imac fails to convince him to turn away, and the hero Conala Kernich is overcome by him. Finally, Cucullin Despite the suspicions of his wife, Emer, that the boy is his own son, fights and kills him with a guy blug, a barbed spear, that the use of which the warrior woman, a warrior woman, Skatalash, taught him only to him. Finally, the grief-stricken Kukulin recognizes Kanala as his son. So the debts is dated to the late 9th or, or, 9th or early 10th century. It is an Irish instance of an international ta tale type represented by the Persian tale of Ronstrom and Sorob. W.B. Yeats used it as the basis of his poems Cuculin's Fight with the Sea and on his play 
on Bale's Strand. So yeah, that is, I guess, the background, inf all the background information I will have from Wikipedia to read this play out loud. Probably not doing the voices. I'll just do it, read it straight, just as a part of the reading exercise. Try and get those words right, because hey, W.B. Yeats wrote them. He probably meant them to be said. Although there's, boy, there's going to be a lot of names in here that are just, I'm just going to probably just go, I will sound it out and it will sound the way it sounds. And Lord help me if anyone from Ireland st stumbled upon the videos of it. All right. I will leave it there. I've been Jay. More videos later.